Hello and welcome. We are going to do a brief energy update. I'm coming to you on 6-6-2024. We are in Gemini season, so there's a lot of busy intellect. There's a lot of decisions to be made. There's a lot of perceptions to be shifted and changed. And I started feeling this energy even more strongly yesterday. Um, but I've been kind of in a little bit of a funk I'm sharing this with y'all today so that you know that you're not alone. And what I was drawn to look at was when Saturn, the Lord of Karma, the Lord of Time, the Lord of Restrictions, Discipline, shifted into the energy of Pisces. And I believe that was March of 2023. So we have this split happening and it's very tangible almost with some people who are dissolving karma and having healthy boundaries. And then we have other people with their free will choosing to create more karma. So that would be through deception of self and deception of others. We have a huge emphasis on relationships and self, where we begin, where somebody else begins. When we had the nodal shift of the moon shift into Aries, Libra, south node in Libra, letting go, ending karmic relations by free will or continuing to be self-indulged, um, putting your energy into, um, on a very unhealthy way, extreme ego, so Aries always a low and a high vibe. So that's what I was guided to look at right now. And because we are in Gemini season, there's a choice point here. A lot of us are shifting and purging if you're on your healing journey. Um, but we're also, you know, today actually is the Gemini full moon. We have the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, and the planet of Jupiter, the Pluto planet of expansion in this mutable air energy. So there's a lot of head pressure a lot of busy intellect, a lot of purging. If you're on your path, like I said, some people are ending the karma, severing the karma, letting go of toxic um, relationships that are not in harmony. But then there's also people out there who are being deceiving and being dis uh, selfish in an unhealthy way, not self-love, selfish, egoic, and creating karma. So there's this polarity and the choice point and where you fall on the spectrum. If you're listening to my channel, you're probably on your healing journey of letting go. So we have this new moon squaring up to that Saturn in Pisces energy. And so there's going to be two houses in your natal chart where this highlights. So go ahead and get a free chart online if you don't have that and see where the Pisces energy is and where the Mer uh, Gemini energy is, because there's a busyness there. There's a lot of purging. We have a very active Schumann chart, and I did temporarily let go of my streaming um, membership. So I'm going to do it the old school way and show you on my laptop the current Schumann resonance chart. There's a lot of purging happening. There's a lot of decisions. There's a lot of perhaps reflecting in the intellect over past things, specifically highlighting relationships that are coming up for people on their healing journey. So this is a deep, this started last night, a lot of high frequency energy. And when we know that when there's high frequency, frequency energy coming into us, we have to purge the dense, lower vibration energies. So in your intellect, you could be very busy of reflecting of you know, experiences that you went through in very karmic relationships of all kinds. And then we're purging that. So there's a lot of uh, intellect and choices to be made moving forward. So that's where the busyness in the mind can be. And as I said on my short brief energy update prior to, you know, do a lot of breath work because Gemini energy rules over the nervous system, the lungs. And so doing deep breath and releasing that denser energies past karmic energies to liberate ourselves with the choice points that we have coming forward so if you can see that 
I was having a lot of um, hot surges through the body. I was feeling some sacral chakra, our creative chakra, and also where we take in the energy of others, if you're a feminine, right, or the male putting in, right, we're talking about sexual energy there, um, and also the solar plexus, so feeling a bit nauseous perhaps, and not really certain on what our next step is, where we want to go. We already know, most of us, what we need to leave behind and what we need to purge, but as this higher frequency energy is coming in, it's also asking us to keep diving deep into purging the lower vibrations, the karma. Again, <clears throat> Saturn moved into the Pisces energy where March of last year, and I was drawn to share on the specifics of that. That's what came to my awareness as I was reflecting before I started push and record. And, you know, like Saturn being discipline, form, Pisces dissolves, Pisces is jaded, Pisces can be delusional. So there's a lot of people, especially since Saturn moved into that Pisces energy and also the nodal shift of the moon moving into Aries, Libra, a lot of people choosing to create karma through escapism. So let's pull an energy now with this current energies from the Cryon Oracle card. I remember one of Cryon's channels um, back in the day that I was listening to him highlighting the fact that we can end karma in this lifetime. And you, you know on the earth plane we have this free will. So again, something when the Saturn moved into Pisces and the nodal shift moved into Aries Libra, uh, where there was a, a split of some people were choosing to be healthy, to grow, to end karma, and others were creating karma. So inner, outer, free will. Do not be the victim of somebody who's creating karma. So I think that's why a lot of the relationships have also split and ended. But again, you don't have to do that. If you're not being selfish and impulsive with that Aries energy, you could have chosen to grow in the current situations if two people are willing to. So what is the energy currently with this high frequency energy showing up within us? I also noticed yesterday a lot of vibrating up the left foot. You could be experiencing body aches as we're integrating this high light into these dense bodies, moving head pressure, busy intellect increasing your light well there you have it with the current schumann resonance increasing your light putting your light out on a lamppost being authentically you and as you see we've had some good blast on the schumann resonance what day was this one so four or five no nope, five four started five four here and now we are on 5-6 today, and this started coming in last night. Before it was registering on the Schumann Resonance, I could feel it. I was, again, having hot surges. Um, you can have grief coming up right now, too, as you are purging the older, dense energies of whether it be betrayal, grief. So what does Cryon say about this current energy? The brighter your light, the less darkness can be around you. So again, a lot of relationships, if people aren't in their authenticity, you will be seeing a split, an ending, a severing of old karmic relationships. How can I make my light brighter? That's easy. It's not fearing the dark. From the very beginning, challenging, challenging, Oh, I'm sorry. From the very beginning, channelings of Cryon, the dark light metaphor has been taught. The biggest, biggest paradigm that Cryon wishes us to really understand is that the definition of light is the absence of dark. The definition of dark is that which happens when there is no light. Cryon teaches light is active and dark is passive. So if you've noticed, there's a lot of talk about narcissism. We have to understand that I 
brought this up on my early videos that I knew it wouldn't be just me with the Aries Libra nodal shift feeding the good wolf or the bad wolf. Um, darkness is passive and if you've ever experienced any relationship with narcissism they do everything in the dark there is no light and it is a spiritual battle so those that, that are increasing their light will not entertain the things that are of the dark this means that the very creation of light voids darkness there is no such thing as creating darkness instead it is simply that which happens when there is no light so the practical lesson is this, when we start to manifest joy and compassion in our lives, we automatically activate a light machine that does not allow darkness in our lives. The opposite is also true. When we doubt and expect negative things, we create darkness that will cooperate with this exact thing. Cryon tells us that we have a free choice to create whatever energy we wish. It's like placing an order in a restaurant. It's that powerful. What you say and what you think, which is very important to keep in check. Again, we're in Gemini season, very busy intellect. So pay attention to what you're thinking. Creates a reality around you that is real. It can shorten your life or extend it. It can bring you joy or fear. This card not only reminds you of your light, but it is a message to tell you that your light is increasing exponentially more than ever before. And I think that's a lot of times a lot of us are experiencing dizziness, ringing in the ear, hot surges. The light is coming into these dense bodies and we do have the opportunity to purge the dense energies and become more of our light. That is originally where we come from. We come from the light, we return to the light. So what we do on this planet with through our free will is to end karma or create karma. Choose wisely, guys. So, because of a new energy that has been birthed on the planet, increasing your light is the design of this new energy. So the sun has been popping off. It's been very active, as many of us know. being guided to share that make sure you hydrate increase your meditation or mindfulness if you have an over busy intellect like I have definitely it's important for healthy boundaries and I believe our angels and our ancestors know everything that's happening in our life so that's why I'm choosing to draw another message from our angels and ancestors to see what message comes through. We have Chiron, the wounded healer, the wound that we can integrate but quite not ever heal on the earth plane to become the spiritual warrior that we are. And we do have that north node there also in Aries. So what is our angels and ancestors most like want us to do, to know right now too many peacekeeper and i got these a hot mess fumbling with those hands today peacekeeper let go of the need to be right so perception being able to see it's the white buffalo calf woman she comes with a peace pipe I'm not telling you to be a doormat, but this is how you can continually increase your light is to be able to see right through the Gemini energy perceptions of why people do what they do and to not fall victim to other people who are out there creating, escaping from themselves. Because a lot of times talking about the narcissism, it's not a buzzword. It's not a buzzword. It doesn't even have to psychologically be explained. It's a spiritual battle. There are those on the planet that will increase their life, light that are natural peacekeepers and there are always going to be those energy vampires who will take advantage of those who are natural peacekeepers. And through this Gemini season, 
I'm encouraging you and myself to see this as a perception of knowing why others do what they do but not falling victim. Don't be a doormat neither. Saturn and Pisces, healthy boundaries is important. Focusing on your own self-development and self-growth. Let go of the need to be right. And I say letting go of guilt like I shared when I showed you the Schumann chart with all this light coming in, sacral chakra, creative chakra, letting go of guilt and shame. And this is the thing in narcissism, they run from guilt, they do have it in there, they won't feel it, they escape from it, and shame as well. There's something in the light within you that intimidates the darkness because like Cryon says, darkness is passive. You see her in the past, she's sitting there at the table with a, pot, a bottle of vodka. She's now increased her light. She has a halo above her head. Where we truly come from is the light, right? Like I said, increasing our light, releasing. Again, like I showed you on the Schumann chart, a lot of purging of the density. We have the opportunity to do that right now. That's why if you are a peacekeeper, you will have this understanding, understanding that your past, any guilt or shame that you may be carrying from your past, see her there sitting there, drunk? It tells us in the Bible, I'm not religious, but I am definitely spiritual. I love my Yeshua. I know we come from God, Creator, Source. Wow, I just drew a complete blank in the intellect on what I was going to say there. So you, let me go back. So you see her sitting there with the bottle of alcohol. Do not allow guilt. Do not allow shame to destroy your current being of who you are by increasing sacral energy. Be careful of the company we keep. We have to have healthy boundaries, Saturn and Pisces. To let go of any of these lower dense energies, you cannot run from any of the experiences that you have experienced in your past. So let go of that guilt. Do something creative. There was something else I was going to say that was um, biblical with this, but it totally um, went absent in my intellect. So if you allow guilt and shame to hold you back and you don't purge those energies, that guilt and shame will follow you no matter where you are. It's a self-destruct energy. And the sacral energy is their creative energy. Again, like I was saying, a lot of us reflecting on relationships. We, it's, it, it, sexual energy is a very spiritual thing. I've said it many times on my channel. Had I known the importance of the energy exchanges that we do have and experience through sexual intercourse, I would have never ever allowed my vessel to take upon the energy of so many people in my life. However, do not allow that guilt and shame to hold you back because it will destroy your current light. So continue to purge. Be the peacekeeper. I know there's a lot of busyness in the intellect, like I said. Let go of the need to be right. Bring forth peace. Again, don't be a doormat to others. Have healthy boundaries but you walk forward in that peace and you allow your light to be out there on the lamppost, helping, guiding, not only yourself, but others. Much love to you. I hope this was helpful. Until the next time, shalom.